Hello and welcome to another presentation in today's Nurse Midwives Creating a Collaborative Community of Care and the 2015 Digital Summit. I'm here now talking um, with Lindsay Jameson, our wonderful mother of two, and this beautiful <laughs> baby who was just born at the next. And we're also uh, joined again by uh, Cindy Williams. So we're just going to, um, from a consumer's point of view, we wanted to talk to Lindsay about how she felt about um, midwifery care. Oh, I actually loved it. Um, it was, I've had two babies now, and um, one in a hospital setting and one here at the nest. And by far, this was my favorite experience. Um, I tell people actually all the time that from start to finish, this was, we, we loved to be pregnant. We loved the care that we received. Um, loved our birth experience. And I could not recommend Bowen loved it as well, yes, clearly. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about um, your relationship with um, Cindy and the other midwives and the team and how that worked for you? Yes, definitely. Uh, well, coming from a hospital um, setting prior, where, where I did also work with midwives there, but it was a much larger um, midwifery with a lot more patients at the time. And so the personal care and getting to know um, just the staff here and feeling like I was coming in to see friends instead of just going in for an appointment, it really was, um, I mean, life-changing in a lot of ways. Like, it felt like our community, like, it was exciting to celebrate. They celebrated with us when we had him and for every step of the way. And even now, like, it's, I enjoy coming back up here and um, getting to see Cindy even outside of the office. So I, I we loved it. And, and they really, actually, she's telling the truth. She has referred um, several of her friends to us. I think her husband also... Yes. Felt the same way and tells people, you know, this is the way you should give birth. So he actually becomes very passionate about it, and he was not <laughs> one to really talk about it prior. Um, but I've had a couple friends who came up and said, "Hey, they're not pregnant," but they said, "I don't have to even convince my husband now because your husband got to him and was explaining why this is like you just need to do this because this is the best experience ever." And he he would express that he could have been here just that he felt very empowered, like he felt like we were. We were taught what we needed to do, even in the care after having the baby, um, and you know, and we had been informed of all the things, the death classes and that kind of thing. This experience was so different than it has. He he talks so bad all the time now and tells them your wife just needs to go to the birth center. <laughs> I mean, that's fantastic. So, did you have like a team of midwives, and did you have like a doula, or do you, you have the midwives? Or it, that work? it was just. Um, for the actual birth, it was actually just Cindy and then um, our nurse. My nurse was here as well. Um, probably the only yeah. time of day that you decided to take his birth. But it was so peaceful and so, um, just had total confidence and didn't feel like I needed, like, I didn't feel like anyone was missing in that moment. That's how I felt like I was completely cared for. He was cared for and everything was under control and cared for. So. so it sounds like it was a real good collaboration between you and your midwife. Yeah, in fact, I think at one point she said, do you tell me what you want me to do? Do you want me to coach you or do you want me to do this? And I was like, I think I want you to coach me. Um, and that was huge. That was great because it, it helped me in that moment. But knowing that we just knowing that we had choice, knowing that we got to set the atmosphere that we really wanted and had been believing for um, was, was huge. Like, it just made it an all-around great experience. And how did you feel about um, it is a... Uh, you know, it is under the auspices of um, a university setting, a medical setting. How did you feel about it? Did you know about what the setup was, if there was a problem? Yes, which actually coming into it, um, especially for my husband, really gave him a sense of peace because it was, the, in our minds, it was the best of both worlds. But if there was a situation, we knew that it was readily available, that we could go straight to the hospital. And um, if there wasn't, we had this amazing setting to um, have the type of work that we wanted. So. We thought that it was a great collaboration. Great. And was there anything else that you would like to tell me about your birth or about um, midwifery or anything like that? Um, I'm sure you can start with that. Um, it's definitely, this experience has definitely made me very passionate about wanting women to have the same experience and to experience the, how amazing giving birth can be. And um, with, with our first, with daily, with our first one, it was, it was amazing as well in a different um, but it was also the, the big moment was obviously when we had her. With his experience, honestly, I, it was amazing from start to finish. Like, I enjoyed all of them. I never talked about it. 
when I was younger, I was like, just give me meds. In fact, it's it's Lindsay and Daly on one of the slides where Daly's helping measure her belly and listen to the baby and doing, you know, um, she's on one of those pictures where she came to all the appointments and was a big part of it, even at almost two. She was she was interested. She loved She wanted to measure. Um, so for our family, it was just neat to see that all of us got to be a part of that. And, um, I don't know that that, well, I do know that that couldn't have happened in the, in the traditional hospital setting. And so we were thankful that there was an option that gave us a possibility. Um, I said that loved it from start to finish. Um, be any sweeter? <laughs> no. Yeah. Are we, I know, we, you on we, film we, here? You just have this baby on film. This baby is actually the star of this um, production today. Well, it sounds like um, we have some very satisfied customers right yeah. here, and we want to basically, I think in summary, say that collaboration works. It yes. works for moms, it works for dads, it works for midwives, it works for doctors, it works for, most importantly, our babies and our families. So, Lindsay, thank you so much for your time today and um, for telling us um, about the importance of the nest in, in your life and your yes. family's life. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That's great. You said all the buzzwords. Awesome. Could you say it? And then the baby was great. He was awesome. He gave all the good, all the good cheery noises. No crying, darling. Hi, darling. You said to me.
we have a lot of pictures from that birth. See, all, all of the midwives were at that birth. It's just, it's just testament to um, the collaboration, I think, that speaks to, um, you mentioned, um, who's actually in this picture here? So let's see, you have on the far um, left is Amanda, who is a nurse in our office and was a previous labor and delivery nurse. And there's Bree Moses, who is a licensed midwife, and Ashley Schaffer, who is a licensed midwife, then myself. Um, Sharon Schmidt is a licensed midwife, and then Lisa Peak, who is kneeling down to the side, is um, our office administrator, actually. So that's so really talking to the success of your, um, your, your model is um, collaboration um, of the delivery and also of Right. So one of the things we wanted to do when we opened um, was to combine licensed midwives and nurse midwives and nurses in a practice. Um, and so having learned a whole lot from um, another birth center in town where they had licensed midwives, I really wanted to um, kind of combine both and um, get then include obstetricians and, and our hospital group kind of with those midwives so that they can all basically learn a lot more about what each other do. Um, so that's been great. So here um, just featuring actually um, Cynthia herself, she's the um, birth director, um, uh, the birth center director and here it is um, and we just we're going to be speaking with our um, birthing family and this is actually um, so this is Lindsay family. Jameson and her daughter daily at a prenatal visit so we really try to encourage patients to bring their family children um, anyone anyone that they'd like to bring to their visits we really try to um, give them personalized time and so frequently you see daily kind of sitting on her mom and helping listen to the baby. So we, we do that a lot just to try to keep the kids um, busy and not causing a problem for the mom so that they don't feel stressed when they're having to bring them to appointments. And then also just I mean, frequently the children are very interested in learning about their new brother or sister. That's great. I think it really speaks to um, when Lindsay was talking about the empowerment that she was able to achieve for this birth mm -hmm. and how this birth um, really Right. So starting back with the with the um, first prenatal visits, even just really helping them to um, feel like they're empowered by through education mostly, and, and letting them make the decisions about how they want their birth to go. And here's um, our other colleague, and Emily's going to just um, talk a little bit about um, about your philosophy of birth and. Um, working at the, the nest and other um, births around town. Okay. Well, as Jane said, I'm Emily Wannenberg, and I currently work full-time as a birth doula in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, and I work in all venues of birth, um, both birth centers, um, home birth, and the hospital setting. And um, one of my favorite places to birth is, is in a birth center, because I feel like it is a, a lovely model that sort of bridges between um, the more medicalized model of um, obstetric and midwifery care to the more personalized model of midwifery care that um, obviously because of my background I'm, I'm a little bit biased towards. But um, one of the main things that I love as far as being a birth doula now in my work is being able to work with um, nurse midwives and, and um, also licensed professional midwives um, as a colleague and as, as almost like a triad between my client, the care provider, and myself. Um, I think when the three of us work together, it makes for a better overall experience for my client, which is, is everyone's goal. We want for their birth to be a memorable, um, very safe and, and, and excellent experience for them because it really truly is something that they take forward with them for the rest of their lives. Um, I often say that um, of all the experiences that we have, um, birth is something that you carry with you forever. Um, and and that's, that's exemplified by when you speak to elderly women, 
um, they remember their birth very well, even though they were sometimes, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago, they still remember those births. And so I feel like if by working together with um, the care provider, and in this case with birth centers, that would mainly be nurse midwives and, and licensed and professional midwives, we can um, aid in, in just really making that experience one that um, that they cherish and, and really helps them with their parenting as well because they, they walk away with this feeling of feeling very well cared for, feeling a part of the experience, experience um, and feeling that they have a lot of say and, um, and, and just feel very empowered in, in their um, process of having this baby. And I think that's very important. We, we, we see that time and time again. I think that speaks to the, you know, the crucial nature of how we are born. It's, yes. going, to, it's going to really affect um, all of us for the rest of our lives. So it's very important to have uh, a powerful birth that we can. I think so. So we're going to bring Cindy back in here because we're all going to now have a chat um, about um, the evolution of the nest, as, as it's called. And um, you want to talk about, you know, I, I, I just um, have some headings here. Um, how, how basically this uh, wonderful um, place of choice evolved and um, how, how the idea was born. Well, actually, we um, I went on a, a mission trip for prenatal care in Guatemala um, with a lactation consultant at our hospital, kind of put, it, put together a team, and she invited one of the licensed midwives in town to come. And so we, we had two stations um, where we were doing prenatal care for women, and um, she was doing one, I was doing the other. We had some nurses and, and other um, people there and some translators, um, and, and it was great. And we really just enjoyed working with each other, talking with each other. Um, and I had always felt that I wanted to work in an out-of-hospital setting but hadn't had the opportunity and really just kind of, you know, asked her if there was a place for me at the birth center, if I could come and learn from the midwives and and ultimately really I learned so much from these women I think the the biggest part is being open to listening to women and what they want it's where it's where I've learned the most is just hearing women out and and what their needs were um, and then kind of building a mutual respect so that I'm hearing what they would like and they're and then they're respecting the things that I say you know here's here's what I think um, and working together as opposed to a provider that's just going to tell them exactly what they need to do. I think there's a lot of women who want that now and, and feel um, that they've educated themselves and they've worked at um, finding this idea and what they would like for their birth to be like. And so I think that that's helpful. Um, so I went to the head of the OBGYN department um, where I was working as a midwife and um, research administrator and just kind of brought the idea to him, you know, would it be okay if I work part-time at a birth center? Um, and our department and uh, ultimately business group and everyone, you know, kind of was throwing the idea around and, and said, you know, hey, we would like to be involved. We think that there's a need and we would like to have a birth center. Um, and then as I was working with other midwives in town and seeing the um, home home birth and birth center birth um, pros and cons, one of, one of the things that I really felt was terrible for these women is if there had to be a transfer, that, you know, you, you built this great um, personalized care with your midwife and this bond and you have a plan and then, um, you know, you're, you're going to have to transfer and because there was a lack of collaboration there. The the patients frequently seemed to feel very abandoned or that um, maybe not as well cared for um, when they needed to transfer. And those things do come up. And so I really felt like there must be a better way for us. And, and if they had a, a doula like Emily who is 
is good at hospital births as well. And, you know, um, that all, always helps. Ultimately, if they have that one person who's there with them, no matter what happens, if their plan A or B is working out, um, I think we found that the women who are cared for by someone in the transfer and at the hospital, then they, they sometimes still feel quite empowered and great about all the things that happen. And they, they you know, especially when someone then follows them and, and midwives and doulas do this through the postpartum, you're, you're discussing with them their birth story, what happened, um, why, and, and I think it helps women kind of put all that together. So we really wanted a way to to kind of bridge that gap so that when there is a complication that women don't just fall through the cracks, that there was a way to kind of bridge to the hospital and to um, higher level care providers when needed as of course that sometimes is needed. I was going to add to that. I think one of the things that I do hear from my clients particularly is that the, the, one of the main differences is that they feel as though they're an active part of their birth as opposed to birth happening at them, mm -hmm. but they are involved with um, with the birth so that, that they are an active part of it. The other thing, too, is um, one of the pros of being involved with the birth center, is such as this one that is attached, not attached physically, but is um, affiliated with... Um, a hospital is, as you're saying, with the transfer process, and that is something that I'm able to discuss with my clients um, and prospective clients when they are seeking out different birth models. Um, I'm able to say to them, you know, this is a unique setting where if you did have to transfer, that that model of care follows you. You're not sort of then left to um, progress at a, at a very critical stage of your labor. Um, kind of feeling on your own. Um, and so in that way, I feel like the birth center here is a, is a really fabulous choice for so many of these women. And it's really nice to have that to be able to suggest to them. I think it also speaks to your vision and the vision of the College of Medicine and um, obviously the business people that they had this, you brought this forward and you were heard and it was, you know, the plan was it um, I think it really speaks to your uh, strengths in this purpose that you, you felt this was something that was really needed in North Florida. And I think, you know, speaking with our consumer, you could really see how um, the birth had strongly affected um, her and her family, which had really hurt her. So, um, is there anything you can tell us maybe a bit more about the planning and things that went into the planning? Um. The planning, you know, we're still about six months old, and we definitely, it has not just been smooth sailing. We are um, still, one of my goals is to continue to educate the um, obstetricians and pediatricians and the nurses and the people that we work with who, um, you know, there's a, and it's going quite well, I think, but it is it is take it's going to take time. And there there's this is something I hear frequently from others that women choosing a, a birth experience over safety doesn't make sense to hospital workers who have you know I, I trained in a high risk hospital, so I know all the you know I, I have been a part of all of those things, but that is not the normal low risk pregnancy norm and, and these women do not want to have their birth based on all the worst things that you've ever seen. They don't want it protocol. They want you to, to do things based on what's actually happening with them. Um, and so I really think that the education of everyone involved is, is still ongoing. Um, and, and really just trying to say, no, actually, they're thinking about more than just the experience. The experience is a huge bonus that you get. But what they're thinking about is when I go to the hospital and there's a cascade of interventions that cause other interventions that could, could cause complications, or you have someone um, caring for you maybe that you haven't met or that isn't, 
you know, catering to you specifically and what you need. And, and there's a variety of physical and emotional, um, spiritual needs that, that families have. And so um, I think all those things considered, it's not always the experience that, that they are thinking about. Um, so we're still working with planning, training, educating, working together, particularly with the pediatricians. We've had some recent meetings that have really discussed well, what things are really important to you all. What is it you want to see? Um, we just want our community to embrace this. And, and even if the philosophies remain very different, to realize that this is something that women are going to do, that they want to do, that it's, um, you know, let's work together so that, it's, that it is very safe and um, that women don't feel um, kind of like they're falling through the cracks when they, when, when they go to their pediatrician and the pediatrician doesn't understand what happened at their birth and what, and what things didn't happen at their birth. Um, and so, so we're still, we're still working on that part. And, um, as far, as far as the budget and financially, you know, insurance, um, and payment are huge issues for birth centers, um, trying to get, uh, managed care to, get all the contracts together and figure out how payment's going to happen. Um, so we're, we're in a unique position with uh, um, all of UF Health kind of working with us to make this happen, but it is for um, smaller birth centers a huge problem. So hopefully we're going to overcome all of those things as we continue to work together. I think we are talking about the risk when the risk get to be a critical mass. I think when women and men are becoming empowered uh, through evidence-based um, research showing that, you know, the midwifery's model of care with collaboration with our physicians is the model that, that is the best for women, men, and birthing families and societies as a whole. So I think, I think we're getting there. I think there's uh, definitely room for optimism. Um, so um, we just put a little um, quote here. I think it's a wonderful um, quote here um, about how the UF Center really listens um, to um, the customers and consumers are as by an old fashioned, I like to call them mothers, the mothers to be to create this um, unique center. And uh, we are going to be looking at some pictures of this um, wonderful center that we have here so that we can, um, Cynthia and Emily and um, the other collaborators, provide a wonderful um, setting for the families that they serve. Here's the yeah, this is the whole building. So there is also some confusion sometimes because we are in a medical office building that we're in a hospital. We, it's not a hospital. It's a medical office building with a um, freestanding ER in the first floor, and then we're a freestanding birth center on the fourth floor. Um, so for some for some folks that may be a turn off, they want you know other birth centers that look like a house, but um, we really tried to have the inside setting be um, like a home, we hope. Keep going. The pictures is the waiting area, which is just like a family room. That's one of the birth suites. We have large jacuzzi tubs that um, women like to labor in. Okay, so we, um, you know, probably everyone already knows, but but one of the things we do for birthing women in uh, these labor rooms, so they are able to walk around, they can go in the shower, they, uh, uh, you can't see there, but each room has its own large um, bathroom and shower, um, they can labor in the tub, they can... Um, walk around the whole birth center. The, the first room you saw was the family area. And so um, try to explain to women who are particularly first-time moms who may have a longer labor. Of course, we recommend that they do a childbirth class and have a doula who can help them know positions. And someone like Emily, who's very experienced, can, can help them with 
ideas for when it's appropriate to, to get in the tub or when they should walk or other um, lots of other tricks that she has but um, you know we, we try to let them know that that a lot of times people think they need an epidural and they need pain medicine and they need something to, to help with labor and there's so many other tools that can be used while you let your uterus kind of do this work and you keep the rest of your body relaxed and the tub is an awesome tool for really just keeping the body relaxed. It really is. I, I find that when the moms get into the tub for that very first time you can visibly just see them sink and relax and release, and it is an amazing um, tool for birth and labor, uh, both physically and psychologically. They just completely sort of surrender to the process, and that's what's really needed and um, to, to progress as far as physically um, is to be able to release and relax through that emotionally and psychologically. So the birth tub is fabulous. I, I love the use of it. Whether whether or not the mom chooses to birth in the tub or not, that's sometimes something she won't know until it comes to that point. Some moms are in there and then they stand up and they want to get out and others are set. They feel set for life in there. They don't want to move. So, um, But to be able to use that it is really critical and um, I wish that every hospital had birth tubs in them and, and use them to the fullest. I think uh, they would find that their their mother's satisfaction rate would increase and um, the intervention rate would decrease. So it's really a winning solution there. So just in, in summary now, just um, my two awesome birth colleagues here, um, if we could just really summarize um, what we've learned um, from the next and other collaborations. I, you know, I think this is, you know, is a unique, I know, I know um, Dr. Ben Ruby addresses it, but I feel this is a unique setting about the collaboration with um, UF um, Healthcare and Medicine and how many, most of the physicians are on board with um, the birthing in a different model. So we hope to eventually, Dr. Ben Ruby has been very careful and wants to um, keep physicians out of the birth center and really let us do our own protocols and, and do things the way we do. But I, I really do want to have the residents come and learn um, through observation. And most of, our, most of our women love the idea of their birth helping someone learn practice of normal birth and, and having that affect all the women that they're going to take care of. And so, you know, we, we will be very careful that that the patient makes that choice if they have an observer. But I'm hoping that that model works for people to come and see because, because frequently I, we had a past resident who um, chose to have to home births after she left our program and um, so I when we, I was working on building this um, I, I sent her a message and said you know what were your reasons for choosing a home birth with a nurse midwife and um, she said you know she she did a lot of research that was prompted by having worked at the hospital and knowing that she had never seen a normal natural birth that the, the women who came in and had an unmedicated birth were frantic, unplanned, un, you know, going very quickly, coming in, having this, you know, chaos of a birth. And she said she knew she had not ever seen someone who had prepared themselves. And that was something throughout a whole, you know, working at a hospital for quite a long time she had, she had never experienced and so as she was researching it she realized that there are some other options and things she would like um, for a healthy low-risk woman and so she um, ended up doing a lot of research and I would love for more um, physicians to be able to come and sort of see um, the, the things that we do um, for women who have planned, prepared, and done these things, and maybe have a doula with them, or you know, um, because it's it is a completely different 
it's just a different bird. I, I see that quite frequently in the hospital and it, it sometimes surprises me and then I have to sort of step back and think from their perspective when they are mostly seeing women come in in the state that you've described and when I'm at a hospital birth and, and um, with a client or a mom who has prepared herself well and she's taken childbirth education and she has this amazing, beautiful, peaceful birth, or even if she's had to make choices along the way that have um, detoured from her original plan, she's able to make those choices in kind of a cool, calm, collected fashion. Often the staff will come in and say, you know, I'm so amazed by this birth or um, how did how did she maintain such control or tell me what's so different about this birth why is it different and it surprises me at times because I realize they don't always see this but they could and they could if if there was more um, awareness brought to the ability to birth this way and 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 indeed more of a collaboration between the different disciplines of obstetrics care whether that's midwifery or um, through the physician care but um, I think that working together and bringing more of an awareness to these options um, only benefits everyone it benefits particularly mother and and she is the main uh, character of, of this um, production until the baby arrives and then of course it's all about baby but um, I think that's that's going to be an important progression in everybody's involvement with birth. Um, we just like to tell you I think I've achieved nirvana right here. I have the same like <laughs> feeling of these two wonderful powerful women who bring such calmness and knowledge uh, to birth and their collaborations with our colleagues in medicine and licensed midwifery and, um, and indeed other professions. And I'd like to thank them both uh, for all their time today. And um, I hope you look. I hope you really enjoyed listening to our conversation from the nest. Thank you. Thanks for having us. <laughs>